Hey you guys, your girl Simply Love, and I'm here to do your monthly reading for June 2020. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Aries. Welcome you guys, welcome all my newbies, love to see you, glad you're on board, hope you hit your, um, your bell so you can be notified when my videos come out. Welcome, 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 and thank you all who've been here since day one. Um, I still I notice you guys here, see you coming in, making your comments and everything. So we're going to do a, <clears throat> a reading for you here, see what's going on with the energy that's coming in with Aquarius in, in Saturn now. So with Aquarius and Saturn, it talks about relationships and it talks about work. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. It's talking about reevaluating yourself, reevaluating your relationships, reevaluating, um, you know, what you have going on in your life. Are you still with karmics? Are you still attracted to karmic relationships? Are you still, you know, or, or some of you getting out of it? It's giving you the energy. It's giving you the time um, because Saturn and Aquarius is going to be here till 2023. So that's three years from now. You have time. If you feel this energy coming up, like I don't know what's up, I don't know what I need it, but it's you know it's it's trying it's really giving that energy of you releasing negative energy, negative people that no longer belong in your life. It's a it's a wake up call. It's a shake up. It's a uh, a new millennium. Okay, so and it's the great awakening. It's awakening everybody up. You know that's what it's there for to help y'all to wake up. Period. Let me put this down here some more because I'm not getting the lighting that I want. All right, so that's what that's for. I'm sorry about the lighting and all that. I'm trying to do it from my cell phone and I don't know. I'm trying to do the best I can, y'all. But the message is, is what's important. Okay, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what your overall energy is going to be for this month regarding your relationships, okay? See if you guys done any changes. If, you know, I even get, you know, I'm a reader, and I get these, you know, I read the energies that come in, and I get sick and, don't think I don't get sick and tired of, you know, the, the, the karmic stuff going on, people staying tied in relationships they know good and darn well, they don't need to be in, keep questioning it, you know, not loving yourself enough to move forward. I get tired of, of, of it too, but your spirit's going to uh, say it until you get the drift. And they also would give you a little help now with Aquarius being in Saturn. That energy is going to help you to release this stuff, this nasty, gooey stuff that's been hold, having a hold on you for uh, such a long time. Okay. So your overall energy, Aries, is the Five of Swords. Wow, Five of Swords. This is like, the energy of the Five of Swords talks about deception. It talks about betrayal. It talks about someone wanting to win up on someone else. It talks about bickering back and forth. Who's going to win? Who's going to say what? Tit for tat. I got you, you, now I'm going to get you, you're going to get me, all this type of stuff going on here. This is somebody trying to win up on somebody, somebody could be a, a bit narcissist, narcissistic, not saying it's you, could be somebody around you, this is the energy, that's uh, your overall energy that needs to be released, okay, a Aries, okay, now let me get your cards here, y'all. Okay, ancestors, spirit guides, could you please give me the energy? Let me see if I get my lighting a lot better here. Let's see, I'm dropping stuff. <sighs> it's not coming in that great, but. Sorry, y'all. Just trying to get it right. Still something wrong. Okay. Anyway, here we go.
Mm, got the devil at the bottom of the deck. See, th there's a toxic situation going on here. Whatever that toxicity may be, because the devil can mean uh, over, uh, it can mean obsession, uh, over drinking, over eating, over sexting, over texting, over anything that's over indulgence. You know, and being we're talking about uh, love reading here, Aries, it's. Um, There's a toxic energy around you, okay? Or it could be you. I hope this is not you. you. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, so what we got to do is, you know, turning your back here, okay? Kind of like seeing things for what it truly is. Turning your back on the situation, especially with that devil, which was um, on the bottom of the deck, and releasing that energy, moving forward. And, you know, seeing your ships coming in here. Yeah, it's time to walk away with the Eight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio you may be dealing with. Uh, turning your back and walking away, leave all the troubles behind. Because there's something here waiting for you, okay? With the Seven of uh, Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Some, You know, plant your seeds and watch them grow. There's a, you know, in divine time and you will see it. You may have to do some type of traveling or you may hear some something about traveling that's coming up with the um, Eight of of wands that's your energy you may have to travel you may move or you just may be hearing a message something that's coming in really quickly and the chariot card means you know there's success there okay so moving forward that's a major arcana card there so there is uh some success but you have to turn your back on something i keep feeling like this is repetitive as well i think i said it last month as well for aries Aries, are y'all holding on to something that you need to let go because Saturn and Aquarius here is trying to give you room and give you all the sight that you can see. There's nothing else that is hidden. Everything is in front of your face and it's time to make a decision to move on from that energy. Time to block it out. Time to time to guard your space, okay? Because this is somebody at home, like you're in front of your home. Somebody's been overstepping their boundaries with you, Aries, and, you know, I, I, I don't know if you've been allowing it because it looks like they just overstepped. They don't even care. It's like they come, and here I am. You're going to have to put an end to that. Nine of Pentacles, and, you know, maybe you have to just set your free and go solo for a while, okay, until you get what you need. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, maybe they just think about money. Maybe this person's just money hungry. Okay, this toxic energy has to go, you guys. You want to reach your divine feminine or your divine masculine. You, you know, this is a toxic energy. This is a low vibrational energy here that you need to let go of is what Spirit is saying, okay? And we got the Page of Wands. You want to hear some good news or some news is good news is coming to you. Um, this could be about, this is the Hierophant, okay? So it could be about some spiritual teaching. Maybe you're going to seek a spiritualist or you're going to seek some kind of uh, help, a teacher that can show you the way, somebody who's going to enlighten you. It could be a Taurus. It could be a, this is your energy, being exciting about that. <clears throat> Looks like you're going in for some help, okay? Or you could be dealing with someone who's married or something like that. Maybe you're married. I don't, I don't know. You guys hit the comment section. So we have the high priestess, okay? So the high priestess is telling me, along with this hierophant, it's like some, you are very intuitive, okay? You're very intuitive. You have a clue. You know what's really going on here. There's nothing secret. Um, it's all been revealed to you. You know, okay? That's what I'm hearing. You know what's going on in the background. So we have the two of swords where somebody there's a stalemate here. Somebody's a stalemate. They're not saying nothing, doing nothing. They're just sitting back, not doing a damn thing. Okay? <laughs> so we have this Scorpio for judgment. Okay? So somebody here has got a clue about somebody else and their, their games or whatever they're doing, playing games here coming in trying to overstep their boundaries and stuff with you because you've been so nice to them this has been a series going on here with 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 people okay and you're using your intuition you're being spiritually guided with the hierophant somebody's you know kind of keeping hush or in denial regarding a situation. 
somebody's in denial about it and they're not saying anything, doing anything. It's just a silent card. Somebody giving somebody silent treatment. But then there's somebody who wants to come around and rejuvenate this relationship. But it's time for you to take control back of your life with the hair, uh, with the emperor. That's your card. The Aries is the emperor. So, you know, it's time to boss up to this person because they keep doing the same crap over and over again. The Page of Pentacles will be doing a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Page of Pentacles is somebody who is... Delivering wants to offer, there's an offer coming in. Somebody wants to give a gift or something, possibly. Somebody may come across trying to give a gift or give something, but you're the emperor. You, you, you've you got it going on already. You, you're already in your power. You don't need nobody else's stuff. And the king of pentacles, you might be dealing with a Virgo. King of pentacles is somebody who's very smart. Stand, you know, they know what they're doing. They're very grounded. Uh, they're very helpful and kind towards people. They're like the father of the universe. They could be a father figure for you. They believe in order, just like this uh, emperor. Okay? So there's somebody here that's helping you or, or giving you help regarding this situation. If it's about a job, there's an offer on the table about a job. See, your overall energy is coming up again like it did. The Five of Swords. This is somebody being petty, all right? Petty, narcissistic, selfish. Trying to do some, you know, disgusting things, okay, just to have their way. This is just pettiness, okay? And um, the Four, is this the Four of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy? It's like... Somebody's going to miss out on an opportunity doing this, being petty, you know, being out of character here, okay, trying to be selfish and wanting what they want, tit for tat, but it's not going to work out, yeah, because there's somebody else here, a Queen of Pentacles could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn that you may be dealing with or contemplating with, and this old karmic person is trying to come back and do petty stuff to ruin this relationship if they know about it. Okay, that's what they're doing. Um, Queen of Pentacles is someone practical. This is someone that you want to get with. The, the, I don't know about that other person. They, they ain't got too much going on for themselves. They're the great pretender. Okay? Um, so you feel there's some passion you have for this Queen of Pentacles or King of Pentacles. Y'all can flip the script. You know how this goes. There's some passion driven behind this. I think it's a turn on for you to, to be with somebody that has standards and morals and practical, logical. Um, if they work, they're like a boss. If you know they're good with money, they pretty much got their self together. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's see what else is going on. The Knight of Swords. So you're kind of rushing into this situation or somebody else is trying to rush in this situation. They're being really, really... They're moving too fast. If you can see, you know, one more step and they're off the cliff there. See that? See them? That's how fast they move and they're not even paying attention to what's going on around them. Somebody don't like you in the connection with this Queen of or king of pentacles somebody you've been dealing with a toxic person they don't like it okay because they you know see you having new beginnings and really you know work it out really well with this person that's what they see so they're trying to come in and, and throw in a monkey wrench on you here so be careful aries know what to choose choose what's practical for you choose what's logical choose what's best for you in your life now you're the king of cups, okay? So you're offering your love, you offer your love to this new person. You, you're offering your love to them. And this page of swords is somebody watching you do this. They're watching, they're in the background watching everything you do, okay? Trying to figure out where your moves are, what you're doing. It's, look how they're looking. They're looking like, mm, no, no, you're not. Oh, no, you ain't either. That's how they looking. They looking very like mental. Like 
like some Freddy Krueger, like some real mental looking like I'm going to get you, sucker, something like that. But there's the sun though, the sun comes out. You're going to have your joy, you're going to have your happiness. And this person sees it, they're in the background watching, peeping in, probably looking at your social media page. Um, driving by your house, looking through your window, looking through the window, the window to your new life, Aries, and they don't like it. <laughs> okay, let me get this done here for you guys. See, Seven of Swords, they're going to try to get away with something, they're trying to be sneaky, they're trying to be conniving, they're trying to run a game. Five of Swords is somebody running game, okay? Here's the Empress here, okay? It could be uh, the mother of your child of your child or children. It could be some, about a pregnancy for some of you. It could be about rebirth. Somebody might try to come and do some slick stuff to, to bring you, to take you away from this potential partner here who's potential. Potentially the best for you, but they're going to be in for a real heartbreak here. Okay, they're going to lose it, and they're going to get their heart broken while you move on with this king or queen of pentacles, this logical, more logical person. Okay, okay. Let's get it on here. Let's get some fun. Let's do some fun, fun, fun in the sun. I'll try another one here. Sorry for the noise. Got here on the bottom of the deck we got the six of wands okay so somebody's going to get the attention somebody could be an attention seeker somebody wants your attention aries okay this is your energy maybe you're going to get the attention and the accolades that you want you got the seven of pentacles where you know i feel like you're going to go out and um the seven of pentacles is about investing okay investing your money your time your energy into something and once you invest in that you're going to get what you reap the benefits from whatever you're investing in, okay? It could be with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay? So we got the Six of Swords. There we go again with this spiteful person, who's somebody who's trying to wreck and ruin your your new relationship or your new connection that you got going on here with the Six of Swords. You know, somebody being very spiteful, somebody being mean, all right? <clears throat> Because they see you moving on, because the Six of Swords is about moving on, you know, just moving on, okay? So we do have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is somebody who is has a lot of options, okay? Somebody who got a lot to choose from. Somebody who could be confused too or have their uh, head up in the air. They might be in some type of denial when it comes to you with the Eight of Cups being here. That's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. So you got the Strength card, which means, you know, it just takes, you're going to have to have some strength. You're going to have to tame the beast with inside yourself when it comes to this person. Or this person needs to tame their self because they're just kind of all over the place. They're in la-la land, dream land regarding you, seeing that you're moving on, you're putting in good investments in the relationship and they don't like it, okay? That's to say, they need to just, they need to get a life and move on for themselves. Um, don't enable this person because a lot of the times, you know, Especially when something happens, when this person rejects you or leaves you by yourself and comes back when they want. It's like you're enabling this situation. When you enable something, you can't get mad about the outcome because you're enabling them to do this to you. You understand what I'm saying? So, see, the devil. They're the devil. They're the freaking devil here. And you need to strengthen to overcome the devil because the strength does uh, trump out the devil. So... Pull yourself together here and get this person clutches out of your uh, back, period. 
Aries. If, if you know, you can switch the stories. Y'all know that. I ain't got to keep saying it. So we have the Ace of Cups, which is a new opportunity of love, okay? The Ten of Cups with a family situation. You can have it all. That's having it all. That's love, joy, happiness here with a family, you know, with new with the Ace of Cups. This is about self-love as well. The Ace of Cups talks about loving yourself. And when you love yourself, that's when you can have this Ten of uh, Cups. But you have to get this devil energy out of your life in order to have it because I see them as a blockage. You also have the Ace of Wands. It's like you're passionate about this new beginning here in love in this family. Then you have judgment here as well. It could be a deal with a Scorpio. It could be here's your energy, fire sign, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So with judgment, it's like you're up for judgment. It's like a wake-up call or it's just some, not a wake-up call, but it's just someone who wants to reconnect with you. But you're already in this stable connection already. Why is this devil keep coming back in your life when they know you have someone? That You have to think about that. Think about the, their actions, how they act. If this is the type of person you want, fine. Go ahead and, you know, just do it. But you, you're going to live a life of hell period with this person whoever this is that you keep feeding feeding they they feeding off of your energy they keeping you trapped and stuck in their energy so they can have their way and have whatever they want from you whatever you're giving them which is money six of pentacles see yeah look at the king of wands somebody is doing something king of wands here um for money, they could be doing magic stuff because that stuff is coming up a lot too. It has been coming up a lot, like people being exposed for trying to do some underhand magic bullshit on people. Okay, so we have the seven of swords here too. You see, somebody being sneaky. Look at this: the, the king of wands, the seven and six. Of, somebody's somebody's trying to do something to keep you bound to them, Aries. Your outcome, I don't know what the outcome is because I can't give no outcome on a general reading. The outcome is going to have to be you exerting yourself to get yourself a personal private reading. Then you'll be able to get your outcome. But far as far as it being, you know, these general readings, no. But these are the energies that's coming in through spirit and all uh, your ancestors. And, you know, you take it from there to what you need to do. Get yourself some wise counseling. Because I do see a good opportunity here for you in love. But there's somebody that just don't want to see you happy. And it's somebody that you enabled all this time to the point to where now they don't want to leave you alone. Because they used to you allowing them to come in and do anything when they want to do it and how they want to do it okay so you're going to have to break that cycle so your card for your um advice is samantha okay Let's see what samantha said samantha says a breakup will hurt it will take time it will take uh dedication Will, willpower and sacrifice in the end it will be worth it and I already told you that it will be worth it in the end in due time he'll lick your he lick your wounds heal yourself and you will receive love you will get love because you'll have love for yourself with that ace of uh, <clears throat> ace of cups there and you'll have the uh, type of family loving family giving all that kind of stuff you'll have all that but you have to th this this toxic energy has to go seriously so there you go aries um on your way out would you guys please hit that like button so we can get the video out here if it doesn't pertain to you it could pertain to some other people i really appreciate that please you know like share subscribe i like all that stuff you guys you don't have to but i would love for you to be here don't forget to hit your bell so you can know when i get my videos coming on out here okay You'll be aware of it. You'll be on top of it, okay? Don't forget to go over to my second channel, which is called um, Get Smart Tarot. And what I'm going to be doing over there is get, doing pick a card readings and some other stuff. And hit the bell and like over there, too, as well, so you can see when they come out, okay? I appreciate you guys. I, I really, really do. And um, all I can say is, you know, 
we're in, we're in this uh, Aquarius with that circle uh, in um, Saturn. So that gives you the chance here. You see everything. Saturn is going to help you. Saturn is here to help you, not hurt you, to release negative energies in your life so you can move forward. We're, we're, we're going into the Great Awakening. You don't want to wake up and see, smell the coffee and see how things really are so you can move forward then. Once that three-year period is gone by, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck. It's going to be hard to get away from. It's almost like an energy is going to just stick to you like, like your own skin. And I would hate that to happen to you guys. You deserve better. Know that you're worthy. Take care, you guys. Bye.